traumatic brain injury is a condition that has been slowly more understood over the last few years. What happens when you're exposed to a serious explosion or a fall and a head injury or even a head injury without a fall is that your brain actually moves inside your head. The brain sort of floats in liquid. The result is to literally bounce the brain off the inside of your skull um, with potential damage to the brain tissue. What happens in a traumatic brain injury case is that the damage to the brain results in various limitations on how the brain functions. And it can vary dramatically depending on the severity of the blow and where uh, in the brain the actual injury is. Different areas result in different problems. It can be relatively minor or it can be quite severe. People with severe traumatic brain injury, for example, often have trouble with organization, with memory, with decision making. Many times these inc incidents are accompanied by post-event headaches or um, just a general feeling that you're not functioning right. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a new term for an old problem. Um, soldiers have always suffered from the horrors that they run into in combat. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a term that was coined around 1980 to talk about the emotional impact of those incidents on human beings. You see it particularly in veterans that have returned from uh, heavy combat. In World War II it was called war neurosis and things like that, combat neurosis. It became known as post-traumatic stress disorder around, the, around 1980 with the Vietnam veterans and it's very common unfortunately with our veterans returning from Iraq and Afghanistan seeing heavy combat, seeing comrades killed. It unfortunately is, a, is not a readily detectable problem because there are no external signs that someone suffers from it uh, in the usual sense. It's a much more subtle problem to detect but very disabling to many people. Unfortunately it's very common for those who've been exposed to combat and it also comes up in other surprising contexts. Women veterans, unfortunately, sometimes suffer from sexual assault, uh, either by other service personnel or by any, you know, by others. And it is a frequent uh, problem from those kinds of incidents or any sort of threatening personal injury producing kind of situation. It uh, is, a, is a problem that Unfortunately, it doesn't show up quickly as a, as a rule. Many of the Vietnam veterans, for example, didn't, no one really realized that they had PTSD for many years. It's just over time it becomes apparent that they have trouble dealing with other people, uh, being around loud noises, and simply don't function well in society. It's a very, in many ways, insidious problem but very disabling, particularly if it goes untreated over time.